Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back to pre-production for The Modern Guitarist. And I know it's been about a couple weeks since the last video, but uh, on top of working on this series, I've actually been working on my own pre-production for Deeds of Flesh. And uh, it's coming out really cool, and I uh, can't wait for you guys to check that out. But uh, other than that, let's get into it. Alright, so I have all my riffs done. Everything's tabbed out, all the bass is done, guitars, I have all the drums. And what we're going to do today is we're going to export our MIDI from Guitar Pro 6, and we're going to bring it into Logic Pro 9. Now I'm going to show you guys how I do that. So let's get into it. All right, so I already have a couple of these things already done, but what I'm gonna do is just kind of show you how to do it. So I'm in Guitar Pro 6 right now, and so let's say I wanna export my MIDI. So what you do is you go up to File, and if you see down here, Export, you'll see MIDI. You could also export as a Guitar Pro 5, a Wave, a couple other things, PDF. But we're gonna do MIDI. So you would just do that and then save it. So I already have that done. So what we're going to do is, there's a couple of ways you could bring MIDI into your DAW, especially in Logic Pro, uh, Pro 9, but um, I don't know, it's kind of a workaround, but you got to do what you got to do, right? All right, so the way you want to bring your MIDI into Logic Pro 9 or Logic Pro X, if you're using that, I think it's the same method, you have to open it as a new project. So if we go to File, Open, do you want to close the current project before opening a new one? No, you don't want to close it because we need it open. So then let's go to, nope. And then just go copy. I'm gonna copy all the information into a new project. It's gonna have all your MIDI files and it's gonna have all the tempo data as well, so. Boom, sorry, here's all our MIDI. And the only thing that I'm actually gonna take from this is the drums right here, so. And then go over here to list it's going to show markers, tempos, time signatures. All I'm going to take is the tempos and the time signatures, which luckily I don't have a lot of. So we'll just go ahead and copy this. I'm going to go into our next project, the one we're currently working on. Go into list, tempo. Let's go ahead and paste over that. All right, so there it is. Now we're going to go to time signature. We're going to do the same thing. Where is it? All right. Time signatures. Just go ahead and copy all that. Go back into here. We're going to paste. All right. So, yeah, all our stuff is in here now. You should see. Actually, go over here in the global tracks, you can see it. So we have our tempo change right here. Some, and there's another thing that's kind of funky, especially when you're taking stuff from Guitar Pro 6 and bringing it in. See this little right here, this little 0002? We don't need that. Just go ahead and change it to 210. I don't know. It's these little fractions of time that just get put in there. It's kind of stupid. But yeah, just go ahead and take it out of there. If you see anything like that, just go ahead and change it before you start recording because it could screw you up later on. So yeah, we got our tempos here, time signatures here. Now let's go ahead and get our drum MIDI. And I'm going to copy this. Make sure we're all all the way at the beginning. And bam, there's our there's our drums. All our MIDI drums are right here. Let's see if we can hear anything. So, all right, so in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how I prep the, the drum MIDI a little bit and get it set up for tracking. And uh, it's just something I like to do whenever I am about to record guitars because usually when you import all your drum MIDI from Guitar Pro 6, most of all the velocities are the same or they're really low. And it could be a little bit frustrating when you first put it in because you might be like, why do the drums not sound the way they're supposed to? So, yeah, I'm going to show you a couple little tricks on how I use drum humanization in Logic. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, see you guys next time.